Hi, it's Kerry. This video contains more advanced concepts and technical terminology and is suitable for viewers age 13 plus. Today I'm going to talk about reproduction in tigers. It is a very important part of their life cycle to ensure the survival of the species. All subspecies of tigers are endangered through loss of habitat and fragmentation. Copulation usually occurs within the cooler months between November and April, although tigers can mate throughout the year. Sexual maturity for females is around three to four years of age, while for the males it is four to five years of age. Estrus refers to the time in which a female tiger is sexually receptive and likely to conceive. She will enter estrus once every three to nine weeks and is in optimal conception state for three to six days in this time. In tropical habitats, estrus may occur throughout the year. In temperate areas, they may only be receptive to mating in the cooler months. To increase the chance of conception, the male and female tigers will mate frequently. Prior to estrus beginning, the female will begin advertising her readiness to mate by marking her range with distinctive smelling urine. The males will then know that she may accept their attempts to mate with her. Once the estrus cycle begins, she may begin to make vocal cries to attract nearby males. When a male arrives, a courting process starts. The male initiates various howls and whines to which she responds accordingly. They smell one another, lick and purr while rubbing their bodies against each other. Copulation requires the tigress to assume a vulnerable position. She lies on her belly presenting to him, forelegs fully extended and hind legs partially bent. At this point, the male moves over the tigress and mounts her in a knee bent position, which places no pressure on her body. Sometimes he will vocalize loudly. During mating, the male takes hold of the loose skin folds on the neck of the female with his mouth. This exposes her neck to a bite and immobilizes her so that they are both in the correct position. As he dismounts, the female responds by growling and jumping up. She may even slap or box at the male, inflicting scratches. Both cats will vocalize loudly and it is during mating that tigers are at their noisiest. Other than this, they are quiet creatures as making noise only alerts potential prey to their presence. Over the next few days, they will mate many times as this is required to stimulate ovulation. After mating finishes, the male usually moves on to another receptive female to start the process again. The male doesn't have anything to do with the female or the cubs. Male and female tigers will have many different sexual partners throughout their lifetime. The cubs are born after 16 weeks of gestation 
in a secluded den that the mother has previously prepared. I love to read your comments. Tap the bell icon to be notified when my next new video is uploaded. Subscribe and like if you like this video. Thank you for watching my video. Please share on social media or with your friends. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.